What's up everybody, it's Jake Gordon again. Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are having a good day, good weekend, and hopefully a good Q4 to come. Um, I'm gonna talk about something really simple that people ask me all the time on the channel and you know, Facebook messages is, how do I drop ship fast without AliExpress? Um, you know, this video is just my personal opinion and personally what I do. Like I said, you don't have to use the strategy, but I just want to, you know, get it in there exactly what I'm doing for most of my stores, most of them, um, off stage one. So if you don't know, if you don't live in the UK, um, AliExpress is no good for the UK anymore. It never really was last year. 2018, you could kind of get away with it, but 2019, it started to get a little bit iffy for me. And then 2020, completely, completely cut all stores using AliExpress. Main reason is because 20 to 40 days, average shipping price that's like not shipping price average shipping time like 40 days is pretty much the norm to be honest for the uk like i said if you're in you know usa you can still get away with aliexpress but to be honest not really to be honest you don't want to be using aliexpress um so that was my big flaw also as well um pff, 24 days like i said you know you don't know who you're talking to if there's a problem like it's a chinese supplier they never get back to you very fast um you know lots of broken items um it's definitely, definitely not scalable. A lot of chargebacks. Like I said, yeah, I'll link a video with my taste it store. Um, I talked about the, the profits and losses and you know, I was using that express for this store. So I'll link that above and you can go and watch like the, the amount of chargebacks I got for you know that store. It was insane. So definitely, definitely not scalable. I did scale that store, but you don't want to do it because it's a lot of headaches, a lot of sleepless nights. Um, and it's really not fun. Like e comms fun making a lot of sales, but if you're getting all these chargebacks, that's when it becomes not fun for me. Um, you know, I don't want to give customers bad experience. I'm trying to get customers best experience possible. Um, and yes, in my case, AliExpress is kind of gone in 2020. Um, so yeah, let's talk about what I personally use. There's a couple of things I use. Main thing I talk use is at eBay off the bat. Now this is off the bat, um, you know, stage kind of three, stage kind of two, you know, I'll use Alibaba and actually bulk buy if it's one in product, but you know, I'm just gonna talk about drop shipping. So drop shipping off the bat, I will use eBay. Sometimes I use Banggood. Banggood's super good for the UK and USA. Just wanna talk about eBay right now though. So eBay, fast shipping times, you know, they're in my country, so there's no fluff. Um, they're getting legit, legit tracking numbers. Um, they're reliable if there's a problem, you can message them, they're good to go because eBay is a super strong platform. If any of their sellers are messing you about, they'll kick them like super, super fast. You can see every rating, they're legit. Um, they're just as cheap. So I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna find two examples. I've already found two examples. There's many, many more. So people also say as well, although it's not as cheap, they're not, you're not gonna be profitable. You're not looking hard enough. Like <laughs> you're just not, sometimes it's even cheaper, I promise you. Um, and yeah, it's scalable. So, you know, let's talk about, I've got two examples, two very basic examples. You know, I've got a posture corrector. Um, I've got a couple examples, you know, on the same product. But yeah, let's just go over this posture corrector. So this posture corrector looks absolutely amazing. You can, I'm still selling this right now in one of my stores. Like you, you wouldn't even believe it. People say it's saturated. I'm not using Facebook ads, remember, I'm using Google. So it's definitely not saturated over Google. But I just want to talk about, you know, the price, um, but the shipping time mainly and the customer experience. So we're getting this for a very good price, £3.8. Um, super, super good. But if we look down here, December 28th, um, currently it's December 20th. So we're talking about <laughs> 40 days. Not ideal if I'm doing like 100 orders of this a day, probably 100 emails um, next week, guaranteed. So not ideal for the VAs, not ideal for you know anybody just starting out to deal with all these emails. Um, it's just not ideal. Like I said, USA, maybe get away with this, but you know, we're trying to move away from this kind of stuff. So yeah, this is just one example. Here's another example. Same again, December 28th. This is the fastest shipping time, by the way. They have, they have more shipping times like after New Year. So it's just insane that 40 days is the fastest shipping time. It's a good price, uh, but it doesn't make sense. This doesn't make sense. And as you can see, I look, all these are pretty much the exact same shipping time. So very good prices for sure, but not not scalable, not scalable. And I definitely can't scale this product from AliExpress in 2020. Definitely not 2021, that's for sure, because that's when these guys are gonna get their products, 2021. So not ideal. Um, here's a perfect same example. It's a couple of pounds higher, but margin still makes sense for this, the way I teach it and the way I do it. Look at the night and day difference, guys. 23rd of October, proof here is the 20th of October. It's coming in three days. <laughs> like I can get away with stuff like, you know, I can charge for shipping now. I can have like shipping options. I can have like, I can make actually more of this by sh charging like an express shipping, an option. I'll still have free shipping, but I can use an express shipping as an option. And I'll make way more. I'll get customers coming back. Um, I can make a nice little store just around this posture corrector. Um, you know, and I have some other items that customers want to come back um, and buy. And like I said, there's so many other options like this. You're not just limited to one seller. Like, you know, I can probably get this cheaper if I looked hard enough. I just jumped in this like five minutes before this video. Um, but I just wanted to show you the delivery times, um, you know, 
you can see exactly where they are in the UK. So Leicester is just a town down south, I believe. Um, so they're, it's all in the UK. It's all proper legit. Um, what else is good as well, you can see um, he's selling a lot. You can see when he's selling them. If you click this, I believe, you know, it's going to show me how consistent they're selling. So they're pretty much selling pretty consistent. Um, you know, super, super, um, you know, selling. Okay. Also as well, the feedback. Now, this isn't BS like AliExpress. This is legit. Um, Everything is absolutely 100% legit. So this is the night and day difference what I'm talking about. You know, this is an example of how you can go out there and not use AliExpress on a product like this. You know, I want to give you some more examples as well. So let's dive into this um, Q9. So this is a Q9 smartwatch. It's this one right here. It looks good. Um, good price. You can sell this for 50, 60 pound. I was selling this on my smartwatch store. If you haven't seen that video, um, I think it was selling for 55 pounds. So the margin is super, super nice. But same again, dudes, 20 to 40 days. Um, it's not ideal and when it says 20 to 40 it's going to be the 40 i promise you so it's not going to be 20. 20 days you still don't really get away with in my opinion i don't like doing that anything less than 14 ideally i want to find it in a week like i showed you guys in the posture corrector though within three days right so let's have a look same product it is five pound higher okay fair enough but same again dudes getting it you know super super fast um by friday so today's tuesday so three days i'm getting this product and um, worst case scenario saturday so this is the night and day difference. Like I said, there's more suppliers in this as well. Like you're not going to be worried about, you know, running out. There's always more suppliers. So this is the night and day difference. Why you want to use eBay over AliExpress, especially in the UK. Um, I know a lot of people in the USA using this as well. I teach a lot of my dudes in the USA to do this strategy. Like I said, you don't have to do it. I just want to give you another example of you because a lot of people are, you know, some when you get to the stage where you're not struggling to make sales, you're struggling to scale it, you know, this is the kind of night and day difference to keeping your, you know, your merchant accounts alive because if you're getting loads of chargebacks and all, all that kind of stuff, you're not really going to be able to scale it if you've getting banned merchant accounts and you're not going to get mer banned merchant accounts with super, super fast delivery. You're going to get happy customers and they're probably going to come and buy something else from you if you have like emails and all that kind of set up. So that's just my example on this. Um, also as well, people are going to say, you know, the cons of eBay. I will say some cons about this method. We've got to talk about the cons. We can't just talk about all the good stuff. So the cons of eBay on stage one is you, yes, you're going to have to manually order everything from the start and putting the customers you know details from the shopify um if that is a if that is a problem and you're complaining just get a va um if you don't want to get a va you shouldn't be complaining so you know get a cheap va if you don't want to do this in my opinion you should get in there in the trenches and do it yourself so then you can teach somebody else to do it for you once you get to that stage but if you're honestly complaining um just stick to your aliexpress and you know just have crappy delivery times i can't help you so yeah, really, really annoying that you have to manually order, but it's it's more motivating that you're manual ordering, getting orders, and you know when you get to stage two, which I'll talk about right here, it's not hard to get to stage two. You know, if you're only doing like three to five daily sales, you can actually message these eBay suppliers and ask for them. You know, you can send them CSV files from the Shopify. So on the Shopify, you can export the CSV files of the orders of that product. For example, if it was the posture corrector, I will send this dude all my orders for the posture corrector. It takes one second straight to his email address through the contact seller. Um, and that's, you know, they'll invoice me um, and that takes away all the, you know, the manual the manual work. So when you get, it's not hard to get to that stage. It's only three, five sales daily, um, ideally when they agree. Um, obviously it's no hit in stone. It could be different for other sellers. And also, also, also what you can do at this stage is negotiating at a better price because if you're making their money, um, you know what I mean? They're not just gonna go, let you go away if you're doing like 10, 20, 30 orders, you know, eventually, you know they're going to give you a better price it just it's just the name of the game so you know it works out way way better than aliexpress at the end of this as well stage three is obviously i'm not going to talk about too much it's because it comes off ebay platform is you know you want to bulk buy from alibaba but that's a total different ball game um i just wanted to give you my example of how you don't have to use aliexpress ever again and um, if you're using like cd drop shipping and um, banggood as well they're pretty good um but right off the bat dudes i just use ebay it's that simple um and this is exactly how i do it you can see the prices and everything else um, makes sense. But more than that, it's a delivery time. So super quick video. Just wanted to show you my experience with eBay compared to AliExpress. I um, hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you got some value.